Do you know how intercept pronouncements are developed? In order to ensure the quality, transparency, and wide participation in the standard setting process, Intosai has established a due process for its framework of professional pronouncements. It all starts with the SDP, or the Strategic Development Plan, which provides a generous strategy and overall working plan for the development of Intosai principles, standards, and guidance for a period of three years. The SDP ensures a common overall planning for the development of the content of the framework and provides coordination of any drafting work undertaken by working groups in Intosai on the pronouncements. For that, the plan outlines all the initiatives that will be taken in order to prepare and initiate all individual projects to develop, revise, or withdraw pronouncements. The procedure for preparing the SDP is also set down in Intosai's due process, and it involves inputs from different Intosai bodies, like working groups and subcommittees, individual size, regional groups, and external stakeholders. Once a project has been established as part of the SDP, the Intosai working groups, subcommittees, or groups specially created for this purpose will begin work on a project proposal. Each project proposal should be based on an initial assessment that should cover, among others, the need for the project and its purpose and organization, the categories of auditing that would be covered, and the consistency with existing pronouncements. The project proposal should provide directions on the organization and outcome of the project, for example, specifying a timeline for the development of the new document. Each committee, the PSC, CBC, or KSC, is responsible for the allocation of resources and the timeliness of the projects of their respective working groups, and for ensuring a result in line with the goals of Intosai's strategic plan. When the working group has completed the initial assessment and developed the project proposal, the chair of the PSC, CBC, or KSC will refer the project proposal for approval. Then, the form of Intosai professional pronouncement comes into play. The FIP is a body of technical experts that has the general responsibilities for the content and quality of the Intosai framework of professional pronouncements. It was established under the direction of the three Intosai committees. It ensures a single entry into the framework and a more uniform approval process. When assessing project proposals, the FIP will see, for example, if the project addresses the issues identified in the initial assessment, if the organization and timeline of the project is suitable, and if the project proposal provides sufficient direction to define the scope of the proposed pronouncement and does not lead to overlaps and inconsistencies with other professional pronouncements in the framework. After the project proposal is approved by FIP, the groups can start working on the actual pronouncement. The resulting document will be called Exposure Draft. In this process, the group has to take appropriate measures to ensure the high quality of the document. Quality processes may include consultations with users of eSize and users of SI audit reports, alignment with basic concepts and principles of eSci 100, consultations with experts in financial compliance and performance auditing, involvement of technical expertise on specific subject matters, testing of drafted pronouncements by auditors, among others. When finalized, the exposure draft is sent to FIP, which will assess mainly that the exposure draft fulfills the purpose of the project in line with the directions of the approved project proposal, and that the exposure draft is of high quality and relevant quality processes have been performed. Once approved, the exposure draft is posted on the ESI website. Intosai encourages and welcomes comments from all members and other interested stakeholders, including national governments, multilateral institutions, and other professional bodies and organizations. The comment period is normally 90 days. Comments are accepted in the five official Intosai languages. The comments received are analyzed by the working group, which exercises judgment to accommodate all relevant considerations before the document is finalized in the form of an endorsement version. This version is once again submitted to the FIP, so it can assess if comments provided in the exposure process are appropriately reflected in the endorsement version of the document. Endorsement versions are presented to the Governing Board in a report by the responsible committee. The chairs of the PSC, CBC and KSC assure the Governing Board on a project-by-project -project basis that due process has been followed. The pronouncement takes effect after the Governing Board approval and it's sent to the Intosai Congress for final endorsement. New pronouncements are posted on the ESI website and replace any existing pronouncements as specified in the exposure draft. Now that you know more about Intosai professional pronouncements, how they are developed, and the benefits they can bring to auditors and their sites, stay connected and updated with current and upcoming documents. Visit our website, 